Tonight, this little pooch has defied the odds, surviving for weeks with his mouth banded shut. That's right, somebody put rubber bands around the dog's snout, leaving a nasty gash. 10 News reporter Emily Valdez met the little girl tonight and shows how animal control aims to find the person who did it. This little girl is a survivor. This is most painful. Oh. There were five rubber bands, uh, the small black type. Uh, that are used for hair were put around the muzzle. David Johnson with San Diego's Animal Services consoles this little poodle with no name and a large gash around her nose and chin to the bone where the embedded rubber bands were. Says, okay, sweetie, yeah. Humane officers picked her up here on Ocean View and 30th Street in Logan Heights on Saturday. Someone called them to report an injured dog running in the park. Uh, the dog uh, was assessed by our veterinarians and then given a general anesthetic so we could remove the rubber bands that were around the muzzle. Vets say the rubber bands were there for weeks, but somehow this little girl was able to eat and drink enough to survive. So you don't know who owns it? We went to the neighborhood and did some digging. I mean, I've seen him around here for oh, a good month or maybe more. Neighbors did not notice all the rubber bands on her mouth. He was at a distance every time I saw him across the street or in the middle of the street. The little dog dumped, maybe lost? He could have been because he was always alone. No one was with him. As you can imagine, there's infection in that area, and the dog's been pretty traumatized. You'll be fine. Eat your chicken, okay? There you go. Emily Valdez, 10 News.